Freycinet National Park. From awe-inspiring coast views to the unforgettable Wine Glass Bay. This area will simply take your breath away and make your wanderlust soar. Get ready for a journey filled with laughter, surprises and raw beauty. This is without doubt the jewel in the crown of Australia's natural landscape. Pack your sense of adventure, but remember, stay away from those widow makers. But you've heard all about that already. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so and new, so I can't find myself. Oh, I feel Our adventure began at the beachside haven of Salamanca. This was a truly magical stopover. Short walks to the beach, restaurant and shops. Here we said goodbye to Ahsoka and Millie for what we thought would be four nights in the local dog kennel so we could be free to explore the Freycinet National Park without the worry of leaving them in our van for extended periods of time. Our journey to the National Park took us via Bichano, where we took the obligatory stop to peer at the blowhole that didn't exactly show off its splendour. The big really... waves are coming! It's coming! <laughs> it's coming! We're walking down here, we've got two huge ones coming up, so just wait. God, it does get bigger. Get closer, see that? Freysenay National Park is on a peninsula about 150 kilometres northeast of Hobart. There is only one road in and one road out, so you can't get lost. Once we arrived at Coles Bay, we hopped on our bikes and headed straight to the walking tracks of Wine Glass Bay. I feel like we've only, I feel like we've hiked very high up. We've still got like 30 minutes of hiking up. Oh. We still have a very long way to go. Halfway there. Okay, we're halfway there. So, we made it up all 400 steps to Wine Glass Bay. But wow, I mean, what an amazing lookout this is here. Truly probably one of the greatest views in um, all of Australia, it'd have to be. I mean, just take a look at this. Picture moment. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Let's have a quick look at this view. Hi. Why are you looking at me when there's a beautiful view out there? I like going downhill, Mum. <laughs> I, I prefer it, but it hurts my knee. So we're almost to the bottom of our walk, where it was supposed to be, but it still feel pretty high. No, no, we're not doing that one. That's a huge trek. So check this sign oh, out. That is I a, ain't doing this one. It's a like full on hiking track. That's a massive no from me. When we knew we were coming to Coles Bay again, we decided to stay at the Big Four because we knew there'd be things in town that we'd want to do, other than having to drive, you know, 30 kilometres oh from right. campgrounds into town. We just ride our bikes and so there's Justine taking a swig straight from a juice bottle. So good, I'm so thirsty. That's like a massive ice cream. I left you with him for five minutes. Riley well, yeah. only ever gets one scoop of ice cream. He actually wanted three. No, no I did not. Ah, uh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe you should that go inside good. and eat it because that's Blueberry. actually sun. That's sunny in the milk. Really you better eat it real Blueberry? quick, mate. So here we are at the Tasmanian Ice Creamery in Coles Bay. Hurry up, mate. 
Right, so what are you going to eat today? I'm not sure. We have come to the... Where are we? Fresnay Marine Farm. Fresnay Marine for Farm. Time. Oh, this does look pretty fancy. You ready, Riley? Really? I mean, it's actually like... Yeah. like after You're hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, All it's right. after two, we're late. I reckon this is going to be the best fish and chips ever. Look at the fish. There's hardly any better on that. You're going to have an oyster? Maybe. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Hey. Oh, he's gone. He's gone for the second one. Might need to go. <laughs> Might need to go. Order another six and shove it in your mouth. Go. Last lighthouse we were at was in um, the most eastern point, wasn't it? Byron Bay. Bay. Byron Bay. We absolutely love lighthouses. I mean, who doesn't? But we can honestly say that we weren't prepared for the hectic wind on the platform that took us to the lighthouse. We thought we were going to fly off it at times. Zealand. Yep. The west coast of New Zealand. How cool is that? Riley's all excited. Huh? Riley's excited. So what have you learned today? About that if you head onto the ocean for a thousand kilometers, you'll get to New Zealand. Yo, bro, you see? We've both learned that thing today. You know that this ocean here, this is where the, this is where the whales come down. From yeah. Harvey Bay. They come all the way from Harvey Bay, all the way down the east coast, all the way past here, and they turn a corner and they go into the southern ocean. It's and so that's where they breed. That's, that's a pretty cool fact, hey. If it wasn't so choppy, we might even see some whales. It's so windy we can't see them. Okay, so that was fun. Up at the lighthouse, simply getting blown away. My bloody elastic broke, so now I have to keep my hair out. Sleepy Bay. Does that mean what? I can have a sleep? Yeah, that'd be nice. Anyway, let's go down this track and check out how good Sleepy Bay is. More stairs, yay. <laughs> Stop. Tim's being rude. You just pass some people and they're like, Ugh. I'm thinking, is there something that I don't see? Am I going to be doing that when I walk back up this track? Yeah, we're definitely going down, down. When you have steps at a railing and then you have it cornered, you know you're about to go right down real quick. I've lost the boys already. I'm not too sure what's happening or what they're doing. I best go and find them, should I? I don't know. I'll have to wait here until they arrive. I'm waiting for you guys, thinking something was wrong. You could have told me. So I actually shouldn't care. Oh. <laughs> we are still walking. 10 minutes later, and the track keeps going. <laughs> it better be worth it. There's so many stairs. awesome down here. I can't believe I actually forgot to bring my camera with me. I've left it in the car. I'm not going all the way back to the car now to get my camera to bring it all the way down. Sleepy Bay. Sleepy Bay. And yeah, the sun's going actually down in front of us. Like we're literally going to be walking back without the sun in us now. Disappear. But how magical is it? I know, check it out. I reckon we need to get cracking. Yeah, it's getting cold. We're ready to go. But it's very beautiful here. Yeah. Here, we're gonna head off. 
track back up. He's always slow and steady. Every step, every bit of pain. Just keep going. One foot in front of the other. We jumped on our bikes and took a ride out to Honeymoon Bay. The ride was awesome. It did get a little steep in places and we had to hop off our bikes and push for a bit, but the ride down to Honeymoon Bay was so much fun. I'm yep. putting out there that we're going to see whales. Oh yeah, whales and seals. And I'd love to see a whale. Alright, so part two of the Wine Glass Bay trek, and I'm Riley and Justine didn't want to come and do the next bit. I have basically walked back up to the top of the lookout again, and now I'm going to walk down into Wine Glass Bay. Yeah, so Justine and Riley decided not to take the 1,000 steps to Wine Glass Bay. The trek was pretty gnarly, especially on the way back up, but it was so worth it. Another adventure ticked off the bucket list. This is like another, another wow moment. Take a look at this. This is un not a lot of people here. The end of the beach is probably about 40 minutes down that way. Let's just check out, just check out the colour of the water here. It's, it really is, it's like Whit Sunday type colour. It's unreal. Look at the colour of the sand, it's, it's really good. I don't think it's quite as white as White Maple Beach after Whit Sunday, so I tell you what, it's pretty close. We came down here the other day when we came on the cruise 
and uh, they told us heaps of uh, trivia about the area. Probably the most interesting part, which I didn't know, the reason it's called Wine Glass Bay is that throughout the year, whales come into the area and they herd the fish into the area. And when they get all the fish in here, they go for a feed. Then they kill so many fish that the ocean turns bright red. And when that happens, it looks just like a wine glass. You know, that'd be a very interesting sight, wouldn't it? Just want to give a massive shout out to the big four at the Aluka Freysenay National Park who went above and beyond in helping us out after that unfortunate incident when the tree fell on our ram. Still can't quite believe it. But look, the big four, they even allowed us to have the dogs at the park for almost a week while we took stock and decided our next steps. Thanks so much guys, we really appreciate everything you did for us. Right, so after six days, we are here to get the dogs. Excited? You're not gonna cry again. I'm gonna cry when I see my little baby girl. Happy to have the dogs back? Yeah. Yeah? Can I tell everyone that you're giving Millie lots of kisses? God bless.